When you need mealtime inspiration, it's worth shopping Kroger, for thousands of appetizing ingredients that inspire countless mouth-watering meals. And no matter what tasty choice you make, you'll enjoy our everyday low prices, plus extra ways to save, like digital coupons worth over $600 each week, and up to $1 off per gallon at the pump with points. So you can get big flavors and big savings. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Fuel restrictions apply. What's the easiest choice you can make? Window instead of middle seat? Picking a vendor who sends a great gift basket? Outsourcing business tasks you hate? What about selling with Shopify? Whether you're selling a little or a lot, Shopify helps you do your thing, however you cha-ching. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real-life store stage, all the way to the did we just hit a million orders stage, Shopify is there to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell. Wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash try. Go to shopify.com slash try now to grow your business, no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash try. You might have heard tell FEMA's all over the news, especially with back-to-back hurricanes, one that went up through uh, the south and into eastern Tennessee, North Carolina, a trail of destruction through Georgia and Florida. And then, of course, we just had another hurricane tear through Florida itself. FEMA's been all over the news, not in a good way. It's been all over social media, news media. There's been a lot of conspiracy theories. There's been a lot of misinformation. Frankly, there's a lot of misunderstanding of what FEMA does altogether. So let's take a minute and just talk about it and talk through a few of these things because it is political and people are going to be like, well, don't politicize it. Sorry, it's an election year. It's going to be political because things like disaster relief are really important in politics. Ask any governor about how much response to a natural disaster or any kind of a crisis means to their reelection chances. And the same thing goes in a presidential when it's something big like a hurricane that gets national coverage. Now, President Biden's no longer running for reelection, but his vice president, Kamala Harris, is. So Donald Trump is obviously going to try to make as much hate as possible, along with his surrogates and friendly media, about the response to these disasters. Is it fair? Is it not fair? Well, it's got to play out also, but let's start with what FEMA is and isn't before we get into what's being said and what is being alleged here. FEMA is not the emergency ferry. Just because a natural disaster happens, the FEMA ferry doesn't leave Washington, D.C., fly to your home and leave money underneath your pillow like the tooth ferry does to get you to rebuild your life. That's not how it works. FEMA is a coordinating federal agency. They actually only act when the local and state level request it. The governor asks the president for a disaster declaration. They get it, and then FEMA comes in, and they help coordinate. They're not actually uh, just, they're not like the National Guard where they can just show up and do stuff. They coordinate and handle money and funding and things like this, especially at times like now where you have two swaths of the country doing very heavy recovery from two very damaging hurricanes at the same time. That's where FEMA should come in if everything is going well. At the same time, it's also a government bureaucracy with all the good and bad that comes at that, just like the military, just like education, just like any public entity from the DMV to whatever else you want to pick. It's a government bureaucracy, which means it has bureaucratic problems sometimes. And You can't just drive down the street showering money. We did that during COVID. It didn't go very well. And the government's had a habit of doing that before. And you wind up with a whole lot of mess. So what happens is this all combines to really frustrate people. And it makes for bad social media. For example, a lot of hay has been made over the $750 FEMA emergency funds. Well, yeah, you can get that. That's just supposed to be an initial payment of I've lost everything. I need food, water, clothing, and shelter right now today. How do I get it? You still got to apply for it. You still got to prove that you had residency and that you were a citizen or legal alien or naturalized or whatever the case may be. You got to prove that your property, your house, your apartment, whatever the case may be, was damaged. You have to fill out a form. You have to file it. And FEMA's got to give it to you. It's still a government bureaucracy because, again, we're not just driving down the street, leaf blowing money into people's hands because that wouldn't be good either. Now, what happens with that, though, and this is a fair criticism. People in places like Western North Carolina, people now in Florida, people in East Tennessee, people in Georgia, they may not know all that process. They just say, where's FEMA? Because FEMA didn't come knock on their door and hand the money. 
and they just lost their home. They may have just lost loved ones. They may have lost their pets. Their children are hungry and starving and don't have clothes. These are people under tremendous amount of stress. And as soon as they get internet access, they're going to go to the internet and they're going to vent. And they have every right to. And it's understandable why their emotions would be high. And some of them are right. Some of them probably are getting passed over by the system. Some of them probably didn't get covered on the initial canvases of who needs help. Some of them probably were in remote areas or they just didn't know how to do it properly or they didn't know how to fill out a form or they didn't know how FEMA worked or they had a government official give them bad information because the government officials that are showing up, they're tired, they're worn out too. Maybe they were having a bad moment and just snapped at somebody. So just because they put it on social media and it's not accurate information doesn't mean the emotion they're using is invalid. It may be. They may have had some jerk tell them that they couldn't get money right now because they didn't fill out the form right. And if you're in a disaster situation, that's going to really hit you wrong and feel wrong because it is wrong. But we're also dealing with people here. FEMA is a bureaucracy, but it's also full of people. And it's people that have sometimes not done the job really well in past things. But is that the case here? Well, like we just mentioned, if you just go off social media, yes, what those people are thinking and feeling are valid, but it's also only one part of a much bigger story. You can't just have an environment like we have now where content is king because then context goes by the wayside and we lose perspective on what is going on. So let's go down to Florida right now. How do we know that the Hurricane Milton stuff's going well? Well, Governor Ron DeSantis said his communication with the Biden administration is going really well. Now, he had a tiff with VP Harris where she was trying to get a phone call and whatever, but Let's be blunt here. Vice President Harris is running for president. She's not in the chain of command for this. So I don't really blame Ron DeSantis for saying he doesn't have time for her because with his job at hand, he doesn't and shouldn't. He talked to the president. He said the president's giving him everything he wants. That's Joe Biden, for those of you from Madison. Joe Biden's giving Ron DeSantis everyone. want. That's the way that relationship's supposed to work. And that's how disaster relief is supposed to work. It is a log system stacked up full of people who are trying to do their best they can with the president at the top. You have governors and local officials kind of towards the top of the middle, and then a whole bunch of people at the bottom that are hurting and needing help. And there's also scammers that would love to get their hands on those government dollars. So yes, you do need to fill out a form to get FEMA assistance. Yes, you do need to prove you are who you say you are. That doesn't mean you shouldn't get a hot meal immediately and stuff. But and also that $750, that's just an initial. There's more FEMA programs later that gives you tens of thousands more dollars for things like relocating, repairing your home, things like this. That all comes down the road. And that's not counting the absolute avalanche of private funds and charity donations that are going into these places. So content is one thing. Content is what gets shoved in front of you. Content is designed to get you to react to it. Context is harder especially when it comes to emergencies, especially when it comes to disasters where we have hundreds of people dead, tens of thousands of people unhomed, and millions of people watching worldwide that are all going to have an opinion on it. Is FEMA a bad guy? No, FEMA is a four-letter abbreviation for a government organization. And a government organization has all the problems that a bureaucracy always has. When you dig down to it, though, it's full of people who are flawed, who have a job to do, and just throwing disinformation at them via social media doesn't help anybody get disaster aid. It's not going to help accountability after the fact. If FEMA really does show up and start screwing people over, and I've seen them do it, it happened in 2016 in my native West Virginia during the flooding, and we can rehash that some other time. FEMA made an absolute hash of that. The Red Cross was even worse. I'll never give them a dime again the rest of our lives because of what they did. We'll rehash that some other time. Believe me when I tell you, if FEMA's doing people wrong, I'll be in the front of the line calling them out for it and demanding people's jobs and accountability for it. But don't go off half-cocked over a social media post. And remember, again, those people are under stress. They have a right to be upset. They have a right to vent. They have a right to say things a normal person probably shouldn't say and give them a little grace. Give FEMA a little grace, too. And if they show that they're malicious, then we'll hammer them. But until then, we need them to do the job because there's a lot of hurting people out there. And just getting clicks and content online isn't helping anybody. All the music on her tell is provided under a creative content license from monstercat.com. So, 
It's football time, which turns Thursday and Sunday into the best days of the week. Well, they just got better because now through October 27th, Kino has 30% higher payouts during bonus hours. Win $500, it becomes six fifty. dollars That's like getting extra field goal points for scoring a touchdown. So play Kino online and anywhere Kino is sold and get 30% higher payouts during bonus hours. Thursday, 6 to 8 p.m. and Sundays, 1 to 3 p.m. Only from the Georgia Lottery. Play responsibly.